The conclusion from that is that we have to be so careful when we consider data that impacts on our deeply held belief or <coughs> impacts on something that we might have subconsciously internalized. Okay? From our growing up, if we've got something in our subconscious, we're going to reject that data quite by mistake. The next one I want to talk about is peace and love. They're wonderful, right? Everybody likes peace and love. Everyone is for them. But what I want to point out is there are limits to it. So I, I'm not against peace and love, but you can't love everyone. I mean, simply due to time pressure, let's face it. There was one guy at Habitable Planet who did try to love everyone, and he, even he didn't succeed. Uh, it's just not possible. There's, there's nine billion people nearly in the world. So how are you going to do that? Uh, wars, I would say, are sometimes a necessary evil. Wars have to happen if you want to stop the bad people taking charge. The Second World War, Hitler, I think is a prime example. Wars are necessary evil sometimes. So it's about priorities, okay? Sometimes something has to lose out to another priority. And all I'm saying is we should think about the environment in the same way. Sometimes we have to prioritize. The next one, quite an interesting one. <laughs> I want to make sure that we're all aware of the difference between people <laughs> and penguins. Okay? We've got an example of both on either side here. Right? So before I go into the talk, we will need to be there. So uh, on, the, oh, on the penguin side, obviously they're cute and fluffy. And as you saw, on, on the people side, only some of them are cute. <laughs> <laughs> Penguins are unable to follow simple instructions, no matter how clearly you en enunciate them. Humans, on the other hand, are also unable to follow simple instructions, as we found several times this week. Penguins make for life. Humans, anywhere between two seconds and life. <laughs> but, there's an important, the really important difference. Uh, as, as yet, penguins have no right to vote, uh, whereas um, people do. And, and as yet, penguins have developed no language skills. It means we can't ask them what they want, unfortunately. We can't ask penguins what they want, we can ask people. And ultimately, and this, this a lot of people disagree with, um, but I'm going to make the assumption that only people matter. And the reason for that is because we just can't ask the penguins. But what we can do is we can ask a penguin scientist what penguins want. And a penguin scientist will tell them. But ultimately then, we're really just making the penguin scientist happy. We're not making the penguin happy. So my argument would be that if we make people happy, we by proxy are going to make the animals that they represent happy. But until animals can talk and vote, we can't ask them. We can only ask the people. Uh, and it's a, bit, it's a difficult one. It makes the talk simpler. It's an assumption that many people make. And I, I would argue very strongly against all of you, I remember from the dolphins, uh, for human, human exceptionalism, it's called. I think humans are more exceptional than animals. And it's a really difficult conversation. I, I'll, I mean, I can summarize. I would say, what have penguins ever invented? Nothing. Humans, planes, computers, we clearly win. And then you could say, yes, but maybe those aren't the important things for penguins. Okay, right, but we don't know what penguins want. Well, okay, that I could go to, well, maybe if technology doesn't impress you, what about the arts? Shakespeare, um, is it Dingo? We've done all sorts of great things uh, with, with the arts. We've, we've invented plays and TV and poetry. The great poets. Penguins have never bothered. Never bothered. And, and then, okay, you could say, but maybe, maybe art and culture and... Because, and, and, you know, art is, art is more than just a thing. It's, it's really about a higher emotional intelligence, uh, about sharing of experience. And so then I could come on to the last one, which, is, you know, which has been pointed out earlier in the week. Humans are the only species to care about conserving other species. And then you could say, yeah, but they pollute all the time. But I don't think that's what we want to do. That's not our main objective. Our main objective has firstly been to, to get us a good standard of living. We still don't in some parts of the world. And then we also care about other species. I think that stands us apart. But we can argue all we like. Uh, the, my main point is we just can't ask them. So for now, I'm going to focus on the people that we can ask, the humans. And I'm going to hope that by pleasing the humans, we're pleasing the penguin scientists.